Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are uh, trekking through a 10-year bourbon battle. Yeah, so we kind of sat there and we're like, man, what would be a really good idea? No clue what to do for a bourbon battle. We're like 10-year-old. 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 There's a lot of good 10-year-old out there. There is some good 10-year-old, and we're like, we'll do a little allocation. We'll throw in a little everyday shelfer. See what we can get. Let's see what we do. Really quick. As you can see, these are all the bottles we have. We have the Henry McKenna Eagle Rare, Nictor's Tenure, the Old Bullet Tenure, and then the Russell's Reserve Tenure. So, yeah, go ahead and put down in the comments below your order before you actually like watch us and see which order that you think we maybe should pick. You know, based off like your own yeah. personal ranking, and also. Give us a like and a little notification, subscribe, yeah. all the little fun bells and whistles. I'm interested to see because, I like, in my head, I know which one I like the most. Which one do you like the most in your head? In my head, um, like, just a normal every day, I would no, say. No, no, just, just what's say your favorite. From, what's your favorite? Here, yeah. Uh, probably the Russell's 10. So you think you're going to pick the Russell's 10 over the other one? No. I'm just saying, <laughs> if I had to look at this and go, yeah. which one's my favorite, I would say the Russell's 10. But there's 97% chance that it's not going to be the Russell's 10. So I would think, in theory, for me, I would pick the Michter's, Eagle Rare, Russell's 10, and the other two I could care less. I don't think I'm going to pick that. <laughs> I, don't I think, think I'm going to pick the Eagle Rare. As my, as, you as think so? I, I think so. I could be wrong. Uh, I've been leaning a lot more towards those notes here lately, so I think... I'm going to end up picking that. My hope is this is a Henry McKenna. It's my hope that he picks the Henry McKenna. That yeah. would be my hope. Yeah, if I do, I do. It's okay. Yeah. I'd rather know blind. Yeah. All right. So just really quick, we always start from right to left. Then we reset our palettes. We go back from left to right. Yep. Let's do this. <laughs> what are you smelling? Right away, I'm just going to tell you this. The first sniff I got... Smelled like a cheese it. Smell like a cheese it? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Definitely don't get that. I you know, I'm also sitting here thinking, I I couldn't tell you the last time I've had any of those. Uh I've had Eagle Rare. Uh matter of fact, I did a golf scramble with some buddies and uh we probably chugged half of Eagle Rare, but it was a store pick, so I can't I can't. Yeah. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I swear all I can smell is a cheese it. Hmm. Not bad. It's pretty light. Kind of traditional. Yeah. A little ethanol on the back. Yeah, there's nothing that stand like there's nothing that stands out. A little to that. oak, a little yeah. vanilla. Nothing crazy on that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Yeah. All right. Hmm. That's interesting. This is a healthy pour. Like, you gave me some healthy pours. Most of the time, you're stingy. We're always stingy. Hmm. I'm trying to, like... Get something out very of that. Very grainy. It's very, very grainy. Yeah, there's. It's very grainy with an orange peel. It's like you tried to make a blue moon and failed. <laughs> I don't know how you. It's like you tried to make a blue moon and fail. I mean, I'll be honest with you. That is weird. And nothing. Like there's. There's not much to that. No, it's actually not bad on the palate. No, but there's like, there's nothing that stands out. It's just smooth. Like, to me, that's the thing that it's I very would drinkable. say. Yeah. Very approachable. Just. Which really, all of these, like, <clears throat> maybe outside of like the Mictor's 10, all of these were designed to be very approachable. Like, in, I mean, I guess technically Mictor's 10 was, but like, you know, these four. 
to to were meant to sit on the shelves. Yeah. You know, Michter's Ten. I think they you know they they made it more of a premium product, um, and then the Eagle Rare, you know, became what it is, and it was kind of the same thing. Okay. All right. All right. This is so much more of traditional oak. I'm pretty sure I know which one this one is. Yeah, I really like that one. Again, just smooth. Coach really, it yeah. coats really well. Has a little <clears throat> different flavor profile. Has a smidge of like a like an apple grape in there. The nose is a little bit of uh, uh, there's a little bit of ethanol in the nose, which yeah. I'm surprised I'm getting any of that because I'm looking at all these in the proofs and stuff, and I wouldn't think you'd be getting any of that. Right, and it, and all these have been open for a while too. That that's true. Usually, all, yeah, all yeah. of them have been. I get a little, like an apple on the nose of that a little bit. I'm wrong about the apple and the grape. It's orange juice. I'm getting an orange juice note on the nose. It's that straight from Florida with has like extra pulp in there. <laughs> yeah. Orange juice note. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna laugh if my Mictors class is the Mictors. Totally. Side note. Hmm. Now here's the interesting thing. I feel like a lot of what I just had in the third Glen is coming over to the fourth. Like they're merging a little bit. This has to me a Like an apple spice to it. An apple spice? Appley with the little spice on the end of it. Yeah, that's, this is really good though. That's completely an apple. That's completely different than the the other three. It might not be apple. There's a cinnamon to it, like a like a, one of those red hot candies. Nope. What'd you say? I said nope. <laughs> You're not getting that. That's nope, what I'm not getting. at all. I like that one. I like both those two a lot. This one stands out amongst the other three. I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. But it stands out. And there's a lot to be said for that. Hmm. I have no clue what this is. Honestly, I think my nostrils are spent because I feel like everything smells <laughs> everything smells the same. Yeah, that's the that's the trouble with Five. I mean, the trouble with a, a bourbon I swear, battle of five. Ever since the third one, I've gotten that orange juice now. It's like I need to flush out the nostril. It's amazing what smell does, though. Oh, yeah, no doubt. There's a little bit more spice in this one, I feel like, coming through, but not a lot. Definitely more spice on the back end on that one. Yeah. Not a lot on the palate. No. There's not much on the palate to me. No, I think there's the, really not. I don't think it's bad, though. No, it's not. I mean, it's not unpleasing at all. It's just, it's not as much as I would expect 
with the finish of it because the finish kind of stays with you. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's reset the palette. We need it. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> need it. All right, we're back. We are going to run it left to right. And uh, let's see. Yeah, our left to right. Yeah, our left to right. You're right to left. Whatever. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm man, man. I going to be honest here. I like this that. This is like, night different. Yeah. Where this last one felt like there was nothing there. And now... I feel like I could probably guess this bottle. Maybe. Oh, yeah. There's so much more citrus that pops off that. Yep. And I think there, and I know I was saying like orange juice and like orange earlier. To me, whenever in my mind, at least, just to clarify with you guys, whenever I talk about that and then I compare it to like a citrus note, it's just different to at least me. And that is so much more citrus and spice. It's almost a little bit more of like a fall kind of profile. There's a, there's a sweetness on it on this coming back this way that I did not mm -hmm. anticipate. Yeah. I like that. That's much better than than it was on the way out on the way in. On the way out? A out, out in? I don't know. Whatever. No, this way. None of us do. That is good. Yeah. All right, I'm really interested in this because I got this cinnamony, spicy kind of thing, and you're like, no, I don't get that it's at like, all. It's like, what are you talking about? Okay, now, he's saying that he got cinnamon the first time around. <laughs> I don't get cinnamon, but now all of a sudden I'm getting maple syrup. Uh, I... I was just thinking the same thing, like this maple syrup in there. What the heck is any of these that's maple syrup? No. None of them. Traditionally, none of them. Man, that palate, though. It drinks fruity. It's, it's really, still really there. Really nice. that, that little bit of a cinnamony note is there with me. I don't know why that you're not getting it, but I'm getting it. I don't get any of the cinnamon. I'm still getting that maple. That's weird. It's like a maple bar. That is quirky. That's a quirky little heifer. All right. Why she got to be a big gal? I don't know. She just is. Because I don't think it's the Eagle Rare, so the rest of the bottles mm. are fat. <laughs> Oh, you never know what Third you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get. No. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Right there, the I, f I feel like this is very vanilla forward. Yeah, it's just a lot more traditional notes. It's vanilla. It's yeah. oak. There's no ethanol in that. Mm -mm. Like, that's, you can sniff on that all day long. Yeah, that's it's really nice. That's pleasant to the nose. Yeah, it's For really sure. nice. Ooh, that feels like just something sitting on an oak. But, you know, I like that. Yeah, it's really That's nice. way better than coming th than when we were going out. The only thing I would say is, the only thing I don't like about it, not a lot of finish to that one. Mm -mm. Um, I think you're right about that. But overall, pretty solid. Yeah, that's pleasant. If I had to, I think I know what that is. We'll guess this for last. <clears throat> this one still smells like a grainy, like a grainy beer. You are smelling it so hard, you're creating like a fog in the I glass. know. Well, my nose, you know, my nose is small, so I have to get in there. Here we like, go. It's not a Roxanne nose. Again, that's, a, I, I still feel like that's a vanilla forward kind of. That almost drinks like a weeder. It's See, just, this is it's the just most a little grainy. This is the most bland to me. Like, feels like I'm just drinking water. Not that I'm drinking water, but mm -hmm. 
it just feels the most that's one that you could drink on and not even think twice about it all right on the last one now i cut maple syrup on this it well i was going to say brown sugar it's also a little fatty on the nose like a little like greasy yeah yeah i could see that I enjoy the nose. I, I actually, I I've really not been disappointed like with any of the nose. No, actually, because they've actually they've changed as we've gone out. Mm -hmm. I don't get the, I don't get the cheese that smell. <laughs> that does help. That yeah, does. It's always Ooh. helpful when you don't get cheese that smell. I mean, I'm not knocking on the cheese. It's I love cheese. -its. White cheddar all day long. Just saying. Oh, leave in the comments below. Have you ever had the Tabasco ones? Yeah, overrated. I like the Tabasco ones. Overrated. And I like the jalapeno ones. This is going to be tough. <sighs> Should we move the bottles so that we can... Here, we'll move them back here. Okay. So that we can... Kind of. I don't, I don't even think... Honestly, for me, I can pretty much tell you my order. I think. That's last to me. See, I agree. Wait, should I even say what my order is or do you I, I know my order. I don't know my order yet. <clears throat> well I don't I don't want to influence you. There's a nuttiness to this that just came up on that. That's so weird. To me, this wasn't even hard. I didn't know my order. I think that's my order. Okay. My order is third is first, or no, fourth is first, third is second, fifth is fourth, or third, and then one is fourth, fourth, and two, do we have, we have everything the same except for, so we switch the three and fifth, three and five, we switch, in the third one, okay. <laughs> And I have no clue, like, what... I have a feeling... I, I just tell tell me what you, it is. Do you want me to start from the last? Do you want to guess? Last is Henry McKenna? Nope. Then I don't... Bullet would be my second guess. Bullet is last. Yeah. So we have the old bullet. It was last. nothing. That's why... Like it, it, yeah, it wasn't. It, it was honestly weird. Yeah, to me on the nose, it was that very grainy beer, like that. And, it was just weird. And to be truthful, I've never really liked Bullet, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. All right, so fourth. There are people who love Bullet, though. What do you think fourth is? <laughs> I, I don't even know, dude. Henry McKenna. <laughs> I would have guessed that. Okay, so what do you think your what do you my, think my, your third is? My third is Russell Reserve. Nope. Mictor's 10. Okay. And then what do you think your second place is? Well, that threw me off, so I'll say Russell Reserve. Uh, your third is fifth. Nope. Oh, yes. Your second place. Yeah. Is that? And then we both put Eagle Rare. See, I thought Eagle Rare was going to win. So basically, the only differences between us is I Are switch these two bottles. Yes, and I switch that. But you're a big fan of Russell's Reserve Tenure. I am. So I'm not honestly. I kind of thought it was going to win for him, but I just thought going into it that I was really going to hate. I, I thought two things. I thought Eagle Rare would beat um, Mictor's Tenure, which it did. Which it did. Yeah. And I honestly, I thought Henry McKenna was going to lose. And it didn't. So. I thought Bullet would lose and it lost. 
That's fair. We're I, I do agree that we're not huge bullet fans, so that does make some some sense. So, so. so there you go. Anytime you can get a chance, go out and pick up a big rare. Yep, underrated. It call us taters. Yeah, underrated. Call us taters. <laughs> that is true. All right. All right well, till the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.